Hi, I am Natalie Barbu, and I am going to be sharing my beauty secrets in the style of Vogue. I am so excited to be doing one of these videos, and maybe one day we'll look back on this when I am actually doing a real Vogue beauty secrets. I'm just going to share with you my hair growth secrets, how I get glowing skin, and a very easy makeup look to help me get ready for the day. I did want to thank HERS for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to share the products with you because it's something that I've been implementing in my shower routine. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, I actually have talked about this in the past, but I dealt with excess shedding, some hair loss, and hair thinning in the recent years. I'm not sure if it's because I went on birth control, I'm not sure if it's due to stress, I have checked my thyroid and all of that looks good, I've done blood work and everything looks fine, but I was really concerned with the amount of hair that I was losing. I would go to the hair salon and I remember my hairstylist, it was my last haircut, my hairstylist was pulling hair out of my head and she was like, you are shedding a lot. Are you okay? I was embarrassed about it, but I was also concerned because usually hair loss is like, I was like, I don't know, why am I losing hair? I'm only 24 years old at the time. I was really, really concerned with why I was losing so much hair. I'm so excited to be partnering with hers. I'm kind of embarking on this journey with them to see if I can, you know, gain some thicker, luscious, beautiful hair and to grow my hair back to what it was. So my beauty routine starts in the shower and I've been using the HERS shampoo and the HERS conditioner. This shampoo and this conditioner smell so, so, so good and they're going to help with thickening my hair but also moisturizing my hair and strengthening my hair, which is what I'm really excited about. It actually helps reduce shedding because it has a triple threat of biotin in it. So I'm very excited to see if that's true because right now I literally have to vacuum every single day because there's so much hair on my floor without me doing anything about it. And let me know if you can relate, but it's it's very, very excessive. The conditioner is also going to help thicken my hair, but it also leaves it very, very moisturized so that it's not dry and brittle. So here is my hair. I feel like when it's wet, it looks even thinner than usual. I am using the HERS hair regrowth treatment it has minoxidil topical solution usp 2 percent this treatment actually is supposed to re-stimulate hair growth it reactivates hair follicles to stimulate hair growth so for example if you have thinning in your scalp then it actually is going to stimulate those hair follicles and it's going to help your hair grow so if you're someone like me that you have noticed that thinning i highly recommend trying this and i'd love to see kind of your journey with it so I just take one milliliter and I put it in my scalp. And then of course, this is my favorite part. It's like dessert. <laughs> These biotin gummies. If you are interested in getting this hair regrowth treatment or this hair regrowth package, you guys can get all of this in one and actually save 40% off. So be sure to use my code. You guys can go to forhers.com slash nataliebarbu. I will have everything linked down below, but definitely follow along also if you just want to see my hair regrowth journey because I know I've talked about it in the past and then kind of left you hanging, but I'm excited for these products because it's something that I definitely needed and it's something that I've been honestly a little bit embarrassed about, but there's no need. So now after I get out of the shower, the first thing I like to do is my skincare. So I actually wash my face with a very gentle cleanser in the shower. And then once I get out of the shower, I do the rest of my skincare routine. I have been using the Whimsy Official Halicon Botanic Serum, and I just apply this directly to my face. And it's so nice and refreshing. Sometimes I, you know, don't want to put an oil to my face because I feel like it's going to cause me to break out. But so far, that hasn't been the case with this. I really just love the way that it feels on my skin and I feel like it makes me look very, very glowy. And I actually interviewed the founders of Whimsy Official, so it's really cool using the serum of someone that I'm like, oh, I know the founders of them. But my skin has been a pain point for quite some time. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with my skin. Sometimes it's really, really, really great and other times it's really, really, really bad. Right now it's kind of in the middle. I'm scared though that it's going to get bad, but sometimes I'll think like I'm complaining about this, which is like 
almost nothing like I I'm getting over a few breakouts here they're they're already going away and then I just got one this morning right here and of course I popped it because I can't help myself but I feel like before in the past I had acne all over my face and I would kill to have this skin so I'm trying to be grateful for even what I have like it's okay if I don't have a hundred percent perfect skin and it's okay if I have texture um, because I was once really wanting this at one point so I, I should be happy about it my lips always get so dry after the shower so I'm putting another whimsy official product it's their lip oil and I'm just putting that on after the serum I kind of just wait for it to dry a little bit and kind of like pat it in and then I go in with this decorte liposome moisturizer I have been loving this line of decorte it is so so good it's a little pricey but honestly i think it's worth it i think the moisturizer is so refreshing and it really really does moisturize your skin and it also just like feels so good on your skin so i've been using that moisturizer and mixing it with this coco and eve um sunny honey bronzing face drops this is because i use sunscreen as you all should it's something that i'm kind of embarrassed to admit but i just started using every single day um don't be like me you should definitely use it earlier but my face gets pretty pale so i just put about two to three drops rub it in with my moisturizer and put it on my face and applying this moisturizer is like my favorite part of my skincare routine I feel like when I was younger, my skin was so oily. And now as I get older, my skin has actually been incredibly, incredibly dry. Making sure I'm hydrated is like one of the best things I can do for my skin. And once I apply that, I actually wait for my skin to dry a little bit more. And then I go in with sunscreen. So I've been using Sunday's SPF 30. This is a small business and they only sell sunscreen, but they specialize in sunscreen and it's so good. And I actually uh, consulted the owner of the company when I first launched my consultations. And that's how I heard of her and how I heard of Sunday's. And I can't recommend it enough because it comes on white, but you just take like five minutes, not even three minutes to blend and it just blends into your skin and it doesn't leave that like white residue, but you're making sure that you are protected. And now again, <laughs> fan it out, fan it out. And now for my makeup, I'm really just going to do a minimal, minimal, minimal makeup look, nothing crazy. These are when I do wear makeup, this is what I do, but it is literally so minimal. I always start off with a primer, but I don't know if it necessarily works or if it's one of those placebo effect things. Let me know if face primer actually works. I, I, I feel like the answer is no. Like I feel like it's like an extra moisturizer. So if you're moisturized, then it should work fine, but I still like using it. I go in with this tinted moisturizer. I actually love this tinted moisturizer. I am in the color Bisque and it is from Laura Mercier. I like it because it honestly covers quite a bit, but it's still just like a moisturizer and it leaves your skin glowing while covering up a few of your imperfections, which I definitely have some on my face right now. actually then use this Sephora clear and cover it has an acne treatment in it and I take it with my finger and I apply it to any pimples that I have that I want to cover up and because it has an acne treatment I feel like I'm doing a little bit of skincare even with my makeup routine I actually skip concealer under my eyes. I feel like I don't really necessarily need it. So I just go straight into the bronzer and I have been using Fenty Beauty, which is chef's kiss. I love Fenty. I've had this forever since it came out. I actually got it the day Fenty launched. That was in college. 
and it has still lasted me. That's incredible, and I feel like there's still a lot left. This is lasting me 10 years. It's lasting me a decade, guys. Anyways, I go. I don't even know how to contour my nose, <laughs> but I do it anyways. I think I don't necessarily need to, but it adds a nice touch. And I take this brush and I just really beat my face and blend upwards. Then I will go in with Glossier's Halo Scope, another product that I have had forever. And I just do my upper cheekbones, little line, a little ball of my nose, and I blend it out. This is one of my favorite parts. So this actually broke. I don't even know really the... Ah, it's M Cosmetics and it is in the color Rose Nude. Another product that I have actually had since college, which is wild, been recycling a lot, I guess. But I take this liquid lipstick. It's such a pretty color. It's like a very, you know, pinkish nude color. I smile and I go one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. And I first blend with my fingers and it looks a little crazy. And I have like the line that I want to get, where I want the color to be placed, and any excess I bring it to my nose. And then I take my beauty blender and I begin to blend. Actually take Benefit's Boy Brow. This is one of the best gels that you can actually use. I love it. And my eyebrows are actually a little grown out, but fun fact, when I was little, I started waxing my eyebrows when I was in third grade. My aunt actually worked at a nail salon and she did wax, so she would just pluck my, wax my unibrow. And then um, my mom <laughs> was like, only the unibrow, do not touch her eyebrows, only the middle, because I would get made fun of so much for having a unibrow as a kid. The people in second grade, third grade, were making fun of me for having a unibrow, so I desperately wanted to get it off. So my mom allowed to pluck the middle, but touch nothing else. And I always remember being like, I really want my eyebrows to be thinner, because that was the style back then. And I just, she never let me, and I'm so thankful, because now I have really thick brows, which speaking of unibrow, I definitely need to pluck a little bit in there, but it's okay. Um, I have really thick brows now that grow super, super quickly. I feel like I never really need to do much to them. I kind of just brush them up and they're super long and super unruly at times, which it's good that that's the style, even though I like them a little bit more cleaned up and I just, brush my brows with this gel. And I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. They make me feel so much more awake whenever I curl and use this mascara. Whenever I don't put eyeshadow on, if I get any, make any mistakes, it's okay. I can just wipe it right off. And there you have it. My post shower skincare and glowing makeup look. I like this to be very simple and very natural and that's kind of what I'm going for. So everything's simple, glowing, natural. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. But again, thank you HERS for sponsoring today's video. If you guys did want to get that 40% off and try the hair package, highly, highly recommend coming on this journey with me. There is nothing to be ashamed of about hair loss. 
I mean, so many women go through it. So definitely be sure to check it out. I'm gonna have it linked down below. Thank you again for watching. If you guys want any more of these type of videos or any videos that you think I should recreate that are similar to this, maybe like a, like a Vogue home tour, like 73 question type of thing, let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.